Um, okay, uh, we are going to pass it along to one of our uh, DevRel people, our developer advocate, Austin Robinson um, for query based expectations. So Austin, I'll Fantastic. let you uh, take over. Fantastic. So <clears throat> in this, uh, in our latest uh, 15.14, uh, we introduced something that I'm super excited about, a new class of expectation uh, that we're calling a, a query expectation. Uh, what a query expectation is. Uh, Austin, do me a favor, just zoom exactly. in if you can. Oh yeah, absolutely. You have the mega monitor. Mega monitor. Oh, that better? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So new base class of expectation, we have a query expectation. Um, query expectations serve essentially as a thin wrapper around a SQL query that you provide. That query is your metric in, in a very similar way that if you've seen our new regex-based expectations or set-based expectations over the last couple of months, you pass in, you know, you provide a, a regex or a set that is your metric. In the case of pre expectations, that is your metric, um, supported by a couple of new query focused metrics that simply allow us to process your metric or your query as a metric and provide results back to you. Um, in practice, that looks something like this. So we have a, an example expectation here. We have two uh, new query best expectations in the contrib library that you're welcome to check out. Um, here we set our query. And you can see in this case, we're parameterizing our query against our active batch, which is our recommended pattern always when using query expectations to ensure that you are setting expectation against your intended data. Uh, we're also parameterizing here against a column. So here we're expecting the the frequency of values in this column to meet a specified threshold. And this is all it is. We set our query uh, metric, we set our query, and then much like a, a table expectation that the idea of query expectation is gonna brew out of, uh, you specify your own validation method uh, to verify that the results of that query are what you're expecting. And this works out of the box with row conditions, with uh, runtime queries uh, supports SQL Alchemy and Spark engines. Um, this is a super exciting piece of functionality that we've been looking at for a long time and, and have heard a lot of desire for. And so we're, we're happy to get this out into your hands. Um, contributor docs, I can give you a, a sneak preview here, just like uh, the pattern that we've come to know and love over the last few months. These docs are under review right now but we hope to have these in your hands very soon. And uh, we're excited to see what the community does as we move forward with uh, this query expectation world. Cool. That's what I got. Nice. Thanks, Austin. So are we, are we looking to see that in the next couple of weeks? I am hopeful to have these docs out in the next week. Nice. All right, everyone keep a lookout for that in the release. Um, we'll make sure to blast it out there so everybody uh, has access to that.